I would say learning is a key component of the process through which we become the best version of ourselves. I think because I believe that, that learning is, again, a, a key part of the process through which we become the best version of ourselves, I think, I think all human beings deserve that opportunity to, to self-actualize, to become who they really want to be, it, at least to strive for that. I don't know, maybe it's aspirational, maybe none of us ever reach that, or I haven't yet, but I, I hope to. I hope to work toward that in my life, and I want everyone to have that opportunity, and you can't do that if you're not able to have access to learning and education. So I think it's it's mission critical, and, and it's in many ways what I've devoted my life to. Um, I think learning is the mechanism through which not just we get new information, but we learn how to apply it, and then we learn how to apply it in, in you know, diverse situations. Um, so yeah, again, I, I don't think we can do without it, and I wish, I wish it was valued more. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm always learning new things. Some of them are kind of, you know, probably a bit banal, but one interesting thing that I think I've learned through through launching my own organization, again, this is sort of at the meta level, over the past year is that I think anything worth having or doing is going to be really hard to do. I think nothing worth having comes easy, and I think it's so easy to look at people, and I do this, right? I look at people that I admire, that I aspire to, and I think, oh, they must just have some magical ability that I don't have. You know, how are they able to do that? And then once you're kind of thrust in it, you realize they just work really hard. And I think there's many aspects of our identity that give us privilege, and certainly I, I've benefited from that. Um, but, it, but in general, I think uh, it's just very easy to idolize other people, and, but the reality is that it just takes a lot of grit and hard work in a lot of cases, um, and I think it's important to recognize that. And some of the best advice I got when I was starting the work that I'm doing now and launching the center is a good friend of mine who's a serial entrepreneur who's done many successful and many unsuccessful startups said, if you're doing anything that's at all radical or trying to change the status quo, expect that it will bring you to your knees at one point or another. Mm -hmm. And it was just such a like profound way of putting it for me. It's not just that it's going to be hard, you're going to struggle, you have these sort of theoretical challenges, but it will bring you to your knees. And there will be times when you really question yourself and what you're doing, and you have to be able to persist through that. But if you do, you're one way or another very likely to get where you're going. And if you're struggling, I would say just drop me an email, <laughs> give you a pep talk, because I know it's possible. Um, but I, I just, I think we need to, I've learned not to sort of idolize people, but just to, you know, continuously learn and improve and, and fail and be okay with that and see what I can do better and have grit. <laughs>